Welcome Pisces. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Starseed Oracle, Divine Directions, and Animal Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it here. One card for Pisces. Oh, one card, please, for Pisces. Here it is. Okay, so this card here is Earth pulsing look at that that is beautiful okay so pulse of the mother slow down time in nature mm, okay so taking time out in nature hey okay so tell me more about this for pisces please earth pulsing pisces will also read it from the book at the end of this video so make sure you stick around for that one more there it is just pick that up Okay, Pisces, we have first card up here is create. Okay, then we have love and then we have energy. Okay, so create. Unlock your creative side with dance, music, art or writing. Express yourself. Ah, so it's finding that way, right, to express yourself. And I love that. Oh, actually, I notice in this card here, this person is lying on the earth, right? It's kind of like becoming one with nature. In order to allow your expressive side out, that creativity within you to flow through, which it would be an authentic creativity, an authentic pulse, I feel. Okay, so let's have a look here. What have we got? Okay. Any more cards for creates, please? There it is. Okay, so Pisces, we've got the Prince of Winter here, just honestly doing far too much, right? Being too busy and um, I feel like I feel like there's something, it, it, it may not even be about being busy necessarily because it, this actually for some reason feels like the mind for some of you or something rushing at you energetically, potentially. Um, that might just be for some of you, so you'll know what that's about if it is. Okay, we have the tennis spring here too. And yeah, see, this is the thing, right, about this being busy. It's like everything's piling on top of you and you can't find any reprieve. It's sort of like being buried under the snow and you need someone to come and dig you out, right? I just imagine some of you being like buried under all this paperwork type of thing. Like, yeah. And I feel like this, this is the thing like, you know, we say, oh, be creative, like do these things to express yourself and you, some of you are saying, when am I going to have the time to do that? Okay, and the thing is that I want to say this to you Pisces, consider this, okay, the productivity that you are able to um, give to whatever it is that you are doing, um, that potentially would be more effective if you took time out of yourself to be uh, out for yourself to become creative okay because we've got to have make sure the scales are even here you know we've got to make sure that everything in our life is in balance so if there is one thing that you're working on more than the rest then it's important for you to balance that out okay the five of spring this is butting heads with someone right this could even be in your own mind okay um there's a libra this is libra card here too so it could be with a libra um i'm just gonna read this occasionally you may experience clashes with others if you decide the matter is worth your energy then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs okay so we've got the tina winter here too and um i feel like for some of you this is why am i 
getting this imagery here. There's this sense of standing alone. In fact, there's a lot of that here. It's like the horse is on its own. The St. Bernard is on its own. The elephant is on its own. The only ones that aren't on their own is the rams. But they're butting heads. I just wonder if this is about this creative side within you. That it's not something that you can do with anyone else or... or follow anyone else in it's got to be something of your own making potentially yeah but anyway um okay so we have the eight of winter here as well and this is about you being in your own head um create creating the self-imposed cage that you can easily get out of but you feel you can't. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So. And you know. When we're talking about being bogged down. By so much in your life. That's how it could feel for you. You could be actually. Believing that you're, you, you have no way out, that there is no escape, but there actually is. It's just that you're not taking the time to rejuvenate in order to see other options that you can take to break free from that feeling of being completely and utterly burdened. Okay, love. It's the right time for you to experience a loving, committed relationship. Enjoy. Okay, so... Let's have a look here. What is this about? Love. I like how that came out. Okay. Tell me more about love for Pisces, please. Love. Okay, so Pisces. We have the wheel. The wheel is a turning. The wheel is a turning. Um, reindeer. There's, there's going to be. It's, it's like there's something going to click into place. I'm just seeing, you know, how you have the, um, what do you call it, the safes and the wheel turns? And I'm like seeing that turn and I'm hearing this click. Something's going to click into place and it's going to change the direction of things. It's going to change the way things go in, right? The direction that things go in. We've got the princess of winter here and I feel like this, this is the direction, right? It's like things are going to take flight. Like it's like the bird hops out of the cage and goes, oh, I'm not a, a bird that belongs in the cage. I'm a seagull who's meant to soar through the air and live on the beach. You know, I'm not actually meant to do this. I'm meant to do this. It's like understanding your calling through being creative. You realize that, oh, this is not actually what I'm meant to be doing here. You know? Yeah. So anyway. Okay. So the four of winter. Mm, going within. I feel like this is taking taking a moment to go within and really discover who you are, if you can, like to be honest enough with yourself to discover who you are. <sighs> to sort of take that breather. It's really interesting because I'm kind of like getting this message of when we sleep, we're not in the ego. Because I'm just not noticing that the koala is, is sleeping, right? And we're not in the ego. So I feel like this is about needing to step out of the ego for some reason. Let me read this card, though. Thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution. But meditation and prayer 
will bring the answers you seek. Yeah, see, this is stepping out of that ego because the ego has got a lot to say at the minute. It's not really helping. It's weighing you down. So, yeah, I feel like that's quite important for you right now. Pisces, the three of autumn. This is being rewarded, being rewarded for the work that you've done, being recognized. Um, which is an interesting one to come after the ego, but I don't feel like it's an egoic thing. This could actually be just in life, that when you take the rest and the rejuvenation and you start to create for yourself, that things start to fall into place and you get the rewards in that regard. Okay, we have the Ace of Spring here. This is a new beginning, a new beginning of something passionate, right? Um, this is interesting. You know, it's so funny because the eyes are popping out to me here of the sadness it's sort of like moving out of home, moving away from the home. And, and But this could be something like, this could actually be a new love, right? New love. And it's under love, right? So is this a transformation in an existing relationship? Is it a transformation in your relationship with yourself? Is it a new love coming into your life? Only you will know. Time will tell. Um, two of winter. The two of winter here. Pisces, sometimes it can be really hard to see the best thing for you to do. And I feel like it's important for you to go into your heart and let that decide, not your head or your ego. Because that's not necessarily going to be helpful for you at the minute. Follow your heart, I feel. Because there's no, not... Eh. I feel like some of you are ignoring your emotions. You're not tapping into those. And I think you need to. Hmm. Energy. Energy. Try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people. Interesting. Okay, so. I'm just being drawn to this earth pulsing in the time and nature. Slow down. Pulse of the mother. Pulse of the mother, and that's like the heartbeat, right? Boom, 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 boom. Going back to that. This is this birthing, this, this, this birthing of something in your life. Tell me more about energy for Pisces, please. Tell me more about energy for Pisces. Goes here. Got that one on the floor. That was the first one out. Okay, let me pick this card up here. Okay, so we've got a few cards here because there was two on the floor, not one. Some of these cards are upside down, so I'm not entirely sure what. They are yet, but what I want to talk about right now is this, what I was drawn to on this card when I was shuffling the cards, right, is this, this waterfall here is trickling down, well it's not trickling, it's just falling down, um, but anyhow, that's beside the point. This person here appears to be lying in water, um, that the stream from the waterfall has dried up, it's not reaching the stream, so there's some sort of disconnect here. And maybe it's the disconnect and the flow of something. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Seven of winter. The seven of winter, there's key. There's a key. 
You have these choices. I, I feel like you have the option of what it is that you can choose right now. I feel like Okay, so the key, it opens the door, right? It opens a door, unlocks the door, and opens it. Is this the door? Is this, a, is, is this about being open? Open, right? You've got a whistle there, you've got a ring, you've got a coin. Peace, peace sign, heart. Opening up your heart, verbalizing what it is you feel. What that other one is there, but yeah, I just wonder if that key opens the link to the string to come down to this pond here. Yeah, energy, right? What energy? What's the energy that you're putting up there to attract what it is that is going on around you? Because what's matching you, you know, looking at that match there. Hmm. We've got the five of winter here, and this is a back and forth battle. It reminds me of the Rams, actually. Right, both trying to be right, both trying to win. Someone has to let go. Someone's got to let go of the rope. And go, I surrender. I give up. I'm not fighting anymore. Letting go of that energy. Letting go of this energy here. Yeah. Like letting go of the stubbornness. Oh, well, when they do, I will. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Especially with, you know, like in a relationship, right? Yeah. Anyway, Pisces. Seven of spring. Seven of spring. The gecko here. So there's this blending. Blending to fit and not fitting. Trying to be something you're not to fit into a circumstance that you don't isn't really you. It's not you. We've got the four of summer as well. And this is coming out of your shell. This is revealing who you truly are. And not allowing yourself to hold yourself back anymore. Yeah. Yeah, see? Coming out of hermit mode. Letting, letting, letting your true self to be seen. But I feel like for some of you Pisces, you don't necessarily fancy that true self very much. So maybe that's why you hide it. Um, so... You know, be mindful. Be mindful of how you treat yourself and what you say to yourself. Okay? And because you can't let yourself um, be authentic unless you're okay with who that authentic self is. Yeah. Okay. So what have we got? Our last two cards here are upside down. So chariot. This is moving forward. Right? Moving forward. Coming out. It's like, I want to say... I want to say coming out of the closet in a really positive way. You know, coming out of this cage that you've held yourself in for so long. To say, ta-da, here I am, right? Um, because I feel like this here, there's been lots of things that you've been hiding behind and kind of like these glittery, sparkly kind of like gems to go, look at this, this is who I am and look at this. I'm this, when actually you're the magpie. And it's kind of like swooping down to get these glittery things to show, oh yeah, I'm this now. And now I'm this, but it's actually, actually this here, right here, just authentically who I am. This is enough. I don't need all this glittery, sparkly stuff to show that. Yeah. 
we have lastly the ego ah the ego and that is out about the ego right that's about the ego and that's really about us not being honest about who we are you know honest about um just just being in our own skin so yeah yeah i just want to read this out here you may feel that you're trapped in your situation but that's not true be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking very cool okay so pisces we are now going to read earth pulsing okay i'm a little bit excited about this because i'm quite curious as to what else this will say because i adore this card it is beautiful okay so pisces earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down time in nature a mysterious pulse is woven through all of life the planet itself has a rhythm you can see it in the seasons and the tides in our world of artificial lighting long work, working hours and modern conveniences it's easy for us to feel stuck and off kilter it's time to reconnect with nature and surrender to the pulse of the earth earth pulsing is my favorite tool for surrendering to the rhythmic pulse of the mother and the entire universe download an earth pulsing meditation at www.starseedoracle.me okay anyway Today, many of us are disconnected from the land beneath us. Somewhere along the way, a severing happened. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. Anyway, where am I? A moment when it became too painful to stay connected. Mm. We feel unsupported and as if we don't belong. Mm. we look to other people and the external world to fill the void of the connection holding and belonging once given to us by the earth taking clutching conquering longing for others to receive us fully as the mother once did forgetting that she's still here waiting for us to remember and activate the part of us that longs to receive her embrace. When you consciously connect with the earth, a veil is lifted and she opens up and receives you more fully. You're able to drink from her sweet waters and release what is what no longer serves you. Stagnant energy falls away and you become connected to all things on the planet. Okay, so star seed activation. So place the card on the portal of your heart and whisper, whisper the following. So maybe just put your left hand on your heart, okay, and whisper the following. I surrender to the pulse of the mother. May my heart beat in unison with her. I'm going to read that two more times. I surrender to the pulse of the mother. May my heart beat in unison with her. I surrender to the pulse of the mother. May my heart beat in unison with her. beautiful okay pisces i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye